Now that was easy. Today we want to learn a little bit about how to embed a Google form into Schoology to assess your flipped class videos. So let's walk ourselves through this process. It's really, really easy. In a previous video, I created a Google form in one of these videos. That was easy. And so here's the form. I'm in my Google Drive. I've logged in. And if I tap here, then this is the form that I created that I would to use to assess the flip class uh, uh, video that I have. So here is my form. So you have to go to Schoology. So I'm going to log into my Schoology account. And I'm going to add this to um, an assignment that I've already created. So here is my, my course. Actually, I'll tap into my course, Flipped Learning Section 1. And I want to add a video with this built-in assessment. To add a new assignment, I tap on Add Assignment over here. And in this Add Assignment thing, it brings up this box, which is here it comes. I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to say um, Embedding a Google Form test. And here I'm going to write a description plus a form. Okay, something like that. Now, what I'd like to do is I would like to do a couple things. I want to add a resource. Or so in a previous video, I talked about a good way to add a, a video is to, you know, upload it in the resources. So these are already in my resources. So I'm going to tap on this video called the letter F. So what I'm essentially doing is I'm attaching a video to this, okay? But then the other thing I want to do, this is the important thing, where I want to bring in this form, okay, is I'm going to add a link. Now, one of the options is link slash embed. All right, here's the key. When I go over to my form, okay, now I'm back into the Google world here, right, is that when I click on send form, notice here that one of the buttons says embed right here. So if I tap on embed, there's this big long code it says Command C to copy. Um, so I just did Command C. I can, by the way, specify the uh, the di dimensions, 760 by 500. I usually just go with the default. And I say done. I come back here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste. I'm going to paste all that code stuff in there. And there, my friends. It is. Now notice how now in my video, it's going to build in this little form or this question. And I click Create. So notice we have the letter F. Now this is, um, it looks like, like a film strip, but if I tap on it, looks what happens. It brings up the Google form. Who are you? Um, and all this stuff is there. So this is then going to give me some form. So let me just go back to the form. Now once a kid has filled this out, what is the option? I can click on the form and I can click on view responses. Now I've only had one person respond and it was me. <laughs> Who are you, John? Add these numbers. Why do you have... Uh, there was a question here, something about... Um, I don't know. Why do you need to have a... Uh, a common denominator, who was the 32nd president of the United States. And here is all my data. If I had lots of students, of course, I would have all this data filled in. So really, really, it was that simple, folks. And let's just quick review. To create this, how did I, how did I make this assignment? Is I can go I'll edit over here, right? If edit. If you look in the, inside the, when you're building your um, assignment, you have this um, link button. And in this link button, you can enter the embed code. You can embed practically anything, right, into a Schoology assignment just having the embed code. Now that was easy. This has been John Bergman with FlippedClass.com.